Hello, staff at St. Andrews. I'm coming to you virtually to share a few thoughts about where I see character and values in this time of uncertainty as we struggle to survive the COVID-19 pandemic. You know the book, right? A Tale of Two Cities. It's a historical novel by Charles Dickens in which he tells the story of two men who look similar but very different in character traits and perspective in life. It was written in the age of radical opposites taking place across the English Channel, telling a story of contrast and comparisons between London and Paris during the French Revolution. You know the line, right? It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. In many ways, the period was so like the present time for students, staff, and families of St. Andrews. I am convinced that we can say the pandemic, and I'll paraphrase a little bit, is the worst of times. It is the best of times related to character and values. I share this with you in the context of today's world as you, your students and families face a disruption to in-person learning, even though we may not physically be with our students to teach the academic components of our curriculum, I do believe values and our efforts to instill desired beliefs is evident how we and our students respond to the challenges that life repeatedly bombards us with. See, our values are reflected in the attributes that comprise our character for moral good or the success skills that drive our actions. These values shape behaviors and as a reflection of our deeply held beliefs as determined by our choices. See, our, our values impact our actions and our reactions. We may not choose our immediate emotional reaction or initial attitude, but we can choose to hold on to or change how we react to or feel about a situation. In this information era, we are overwhelmed, right, by what we read and hear related to the COVID-19 pandemic being constantly blitzed with statistics, downcast news stories, and the stress of others increases, at least for me, I'm sure for you as well, the fear of the unknown. One of the desired standards for character counts in the SEL domain is that of emotions and their impact. In this worst of times, it can be difficult to monitor emotions and how they influence the way one perceives and responds to the pandemic. Students may have a tendency to exaggerate in their own minds the severity and duration of the consequences of this negative event. They may allow their emotions to control their actions. And the pandemic may accentuate any feelings of disconnection, isolation, stress, and depression. I'm deeply concerned about the lack of empathy. See, many seem to be concerned only about themselves without a sense of collective or shared responsibility. And to survive this pandemic, students need empathy, positivity, and self-regulation. We, not me, will get us through these worst of times. Feeling with someone is the best cure for depression. We are all sharing this experience with one another, us as a world. And we are certainly not alone. Uh, there are many more examples of this being the worst of times related to putting desired values into action. Think of the political actions and decisions that are being made. See, to make effective and ethical decisions, a part of character counts, one must think about the stakeholders, consider all the options carefully and thoughtfully, live up to the ethical principles of the six pillars above other values or self-interest or fear of the unknown. And if there's a conflict between ethical values, determine what is best in the long run. This can also be the best of times. If we as a St. Andrews community are able to be positive, we will what? Increase our ability to collectively progress through this pandemic in a safe, healthy way and come out of this experience more united and resilient. Communally living through this experience allows us to focus our attention on acts of generosity, cooperation, and patience towards everyone in our St. Andrews community. For me, I just wish more people would spread love like they spread hate and negativity. This is nothing new. Even in the worst of times, we have somehow survived. We fall, we rise. 
We break, we rebuild. We stumble, we learn. We come together, we work together, we innovate, we create choices based upon the values we hold deeply that motivate us to action. We find our way forward every single time. Whenever we have found ourselves as the weakest, that is when we become the strongest. Character Counts and IB is about becoming the best version of ourselves. Yes, even in these perilous days, we are living through. I'm convinced that there is the importance of continuous self-improvement, personal growth, and lifelong learning, even in this pandemic. Students who value the Character Count Success Skill of Learning demonstrate self-confidence what's needed to succeed when not physically in school. They demonstrate personal responsibility for their education by becoming self-directed learners, engaged and connected to a virtual school community. I would like to think that this time has allowed students to enhance their critical thinking skills so that they can exercise more control over choices and make decisions based on reason and logic rather than instinct and emotion. Also present at these best of times is your student's ability to demonstrate resiliency by maintaining a positive outlook with the courage and will to bounce back from the pain and grief of this virus trauma, disappointments and misfortune. And there are many other values of character counts that are present in this time of COVID-19. Think of diligence, perseverance, and how you would hope your students are able to respond with identifiable actions and behaviors. See, possessing the value of positivity means choosing to be optimistic, enthusiastic, hopeful, kind, caring, empathetic, and cheerful. We can all consciously decide to develop a positive mindset. Believing in the personal ability to endure this pandemic, heal, and that things can and will get better should be the mantra of all of us. What can we do to make values an integral part of our virtual learning experience as we transition back to someday in-person learning? For St. Andrews, we, we know that the IB learners strive to become uh, inquirers, uh, knowledgeable, thinkers, communicators, principled, open-minded, caring, risk-takers, balanced, and reflective. We need to continue doing all we can as a staff to recognize and support these attributes with everyone in our school community. Ensure that what you are doing intentionally and explicitly addresses the desired beliefs and traits of character counts and IB. Connect these values to academic content or standalone lessons. Emphasize the importance of the desired values as a way for all of us to get through this horrific period. Being removed from in-person learning will someday end. And the uncertainty that we face does not guarantee anything. Unfortunately, every educator shares one thing in common in these times of trouble, hope. See, hope that the quarantine will eventually be lifted. Hope that we can return to class and our normal ways of life. Hope that allows us to see a life that supports connections and relationships. Hope to see a life based upon character and values. In closing, for all who are committed and dedicated to educating St. Andrews students in the days ahead. I ask you to pray for them. Show them grace. Have empathy. And stay positive. Comparte el amor. Y el mundo va a cambiar. Si nos ayudamos. Se va a mejor. See you.